CMT or Charcot Marie Tooth Disease, also known as HMSN or Hereditary Motor and Sensory Neuropathy, is a genetic condition that causes several things to happen throughout the body, particularly in the feet and sometimes also in the hands. And this is a condition that creates um, loss of nerve function so that muscles in the foot start to change and become unbalanced. CMT, I'll refer to it for this discussion, uh, although this is a little bit of an older term for it, causes typically a high arch. It causes the ankle to start to turn in, so the foot turns in and the ankle turns outward, creating somewhat of a cavus or cloth, a clawed foot. And uh, often what you'll see, and I'll kind of show it on the model, is the foot starts to develop a higher arch and then it tilts so the foot turns in. If this is the outside of the foot over here, it turns in, uh, creating instability so that the foot tends to want to sprain, almost like a constant ankle sprain. This disease is progressive. It tends to create increasing deformity over time and the weakness usually becomes more significant as you age or become older. It's not a very common condition and usually it's found in populations where that gene is more present. However, if you notice that, you're having a, that you have or have developed a more significant claw foot or a cavus foot, this is a foot that's in, that has a higher arch and even also associated with toes that start to curl up as well, then you may have this condition. You may also have conditions that are related to this, including some conditions of the spine or neurologic disease that's causing the foot to deform. In any case, if you start noticing progression of any deformity in your foot, it's appropriate for you to see a doctor and have this, re have this reviewed and, and looked at to ensure that it isn't something that needs to be addressed in an early, early stage of the disease. You know you have Charcot Marie Tooth Disease if after your physician has, has made the diagnosis uh, and uh, you also can connect it maybe to family members who've had it as well. From home, there are a few things that you can do to try to reduce some of the symptoms that happen from this condition. There are over-the-counter ankle braces that can help to reduce the potential for ankle sprains. Also, shoe wear should be chosen that is neutral, that has a relatively good padding, and has plenty of room for your toes and for the high arch of your foot. And athletic shoe wear is usually the most, uh, most appropriate and less symptom producing of any of those types of shoes. At home, you can also reduce calluses by taking care of calluses that develop because of this condition. And then you also should maintain a good level of exercise. However, with this condition, uh, with Charcot Marie Tooth Disease or HMSN, it is difficult to strengthen muscles and to overcome the condition as it progresses. When you see your doctor for this, several things will happen. He'll consider x-rays to look at the severity of the deformities in your foot. And then we'll also look at ways to help to, to choose good braces for you to reduce the symptoms. When you are younger, there are different kinds of braces that, that hold and prevent the foot from deforming. As you age, however, and if those deformities become severe, then surgical treatment can be very helpful to slow down the progress, but also to reverse some of the changes that have happened in your foot. This can include a combination of releases of tendons, transfers of tendons, and then also sometimes bone cuts that cause the bone to shift into a better position. And this often takes healing, a healing time from between six weeks and up to sometimes three to four months before it is resolved. However, almost universally, patients that have appropriately treated or appropriately selected surgeries for this condition become significantly better.